Hey guys, welcome back for another video. We're gonna talk about the importance of the backswing and why I stress backswing so much to a lot of my clients online or in person or even on these YouTube videos. So, um, a lot of people may, may hear or read or see things online saying, oh, impact is all that matters. Sure, if your impact is good, chances are you're gonna probably hit it pretty decent. But if your backswing is poor, you're probably gonna not get to a very good impact position. I know a lot of people will say, oh, how about this person? How about that person? Well, sure, again, it's not a, it's not a blanket statement saying if you have a poor backswing, it's 100% guarantee you're not gonna have a good downswing or good impact. But the thing is, if you have a poor backswing, you're more likely than not gonna, ha not gonna have a good downswing and not gonna have good impact. If you're on YouTube watching videos trying to improve your golf game, you probably fit into that category where you cannot get away with a poor backswing. So, if you think of the golf swing as a whole movement, right? The movement from start to finish, everything connects to, to the next segment, to the next segment, to the next segment. How you move before impact is going to, Im is going to influence what impact's gonna be like. How you move after impact will also probably influence the pre-impact stuff. So the golf swing happening so fast, the movement happening so fast, backswing being slower than the downswing, you're gonna have a much better chance at changing your backswing, of having some control over how your backswing is placed. So if you move your backswing into a decent spot, into a decent, uh, into a decent spot at the top, at least you have half the battle over with. You have half the battle where you've probably won, then you can start uh, working on the downswing to help yourself improve impact. So let's think of it this way. If your backswing is this, if this is your backswing, you're probably not gonna get back to the ball with any decent uh, impact parameters, eh? If I make this backswing, and hopefully I don't hit my GC quad, I'm probably not gonna make a very good downswing or very good impact compared to me making a backswing that has me somewhere up here, okay? And somewhere up here, again, I have more width, I have more height, I, pro I have more real depth. Sure, me getting here looks like I have depth, but that's the fake depth because I'm not getting the depth through the turn. This is why we stress backswing so much because backswing influences the downswing, which influences impact. Impact is probably the hardest thing that you guys, that anyone could actually try to control or manipulate. It's much easier to set those dominoes up in this movement from the earliest stages on so that you give yourself a better chance at a good downswing, at a good impact position. So if you can put yourself in a good backswing with good turn, good depth, good height, good width, with decent wrist structure for most people, flat lead wrist, trail bent wrist, that should have a pretty squarish club face. If you have that part of the battle done and you just kind of turn half decently, you're probably gonna have a decent downswing where the shaft shallows a little bit, club stays behind you. All you have to do now is to recalibrate how you rotate. That's probably gonna be much better for you in the big picture for the longevity of your golf game. Because if you're playing, if you're playing like this and you wanna improve, unfortunately, no matter how much you practice, it's gonna be harder to improve or you're capping the ceiling for improvement versus if you were to start from a spot like this with that turn, with that width, with the depth, with the height of the hands, with that good structure. So which is why we, st we stress a lot on making sure your backswing is good, your movements are clean, so that the rest of the movement after the backswing, you're putting yourself in a much better spot to success, to succeed. So hopefully that makes sense. I know impact is important. I know downswing is important. I know there's plenty of examples out there where, where poor backswings can still lead to a good golf, but there is that much, 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 much more, many more examples of people with a good backswing playing better golf. So backswing is important. I know some people say backswing is not very important, but in my opinion, to my belief, if you have a good backswing, you are setting yourself for a much better shot at making a good downswing and good impact. So hope that makes sense. Um, any questions, leave it in the comments below and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks guys.